that this, this flute is the one that I was playing yesterday until I got my new one. So I didn't clean it. So you can see the imprint of where I blow and where I spit. <laughs> can you get this, Mark? Now you see, you see there's a mark there, here. That's how much I cover the flute. You see now, everybody says, oh you have to roll out, you know, to get a good sound. Well this is a whole crock. I don't roll out, and neither does William Bennett. We blow right into the flute, and man, do we make a racket. You take bottom lip, put it up over the top lip like this. straight across. And then you organize it a little bit better. And then you think, oh, the top note is flat, but the top note is not flat. Bottom note is sharp. So you should blow a little bit more in, which is the theory of blowing into the flute come from this. Now you can see when, when I play that my lips are not taken away from the flute in the typical style like this. Right? They're right on it. And already I'm learning something about flexibility because to make this octave you have to change. You can't just blow harder to get an octave. That's not what you do at all. You redirect the, the air. And you go more onto the flute. Can you see this, Mark? Now, you realize when you can do that on the head joint, as soon as you put it on a flute, playing octaves is not such a big problem anymore. And getting the note in the right place is not a problem anymore. And therefore, the intonation on the flute becomes more manageable because you're more flexible and you practice this uh, flexibility, if you see what I mean. All right? Here it is. some time. I think it took me about a month before I could figure this out, before it really worked for me. And my old teacher Muriel, she said, now don't play anything, just do that every day. Like I was going to do that every day. I was, I was busting to play the carnival of Venice with variations, you know. <laughs> like every normal kid, you know. <laughs> and uh, of course when she wasn't watching, I'd have a go at that. <laughs> And then my dad would come home from work and it would be back to. <laughs> you see, but this, this simple exercise, in fact, stood me in good stead throughout my whole life because I never had a problem with my embouchure and I could play most flutes that I ever owned very well. <laughs> 